the World Wide Web. It's full of freely available information nuggets. Really? Hooray! No need to do any proper research anymore. I'll just download everything. No, no, don't be a foolish ermine. You need to evaluate the sites you're using, as well as the information that you find. Oh, why should I bother evaluating? Because it's easier than ever these days for anyone to put up practically anything onto the web. Ah, my website on the roll of eggs and the monarchy is complete. The Queen of England has long been known as Good Queen Eggy Peggy. Randy, that's a great steaming pile of claptrap. So what, Badger Boy? It's just a bit of fun. Not like anyone out there would be stupid enough to actually believe what I've written. And may I present Dr. Billiam Croc, our chief scientist. Oh, my uh, dear good queen, Eggy Peggy. <laughs> what a pleasure it is to greet you. Off with his head. Oh, my. Ah. Uh, Okay, so I should evaluate websites before I trust them. But how? Well, uh, firstly it's important to consider a site's reliability by considering whom has written it. Oh yeah, well I see, uh, uh, if I know it's by an erudite scholar with sufficient authority, then it's probably okay. Indeed. But what if it was actually authored by a simple-minded, spiteful weasel? Yes, authorised by a simple-minded... Oi! This is what I get for missing the rehearsals. <laughs> but that is the essence of it, Randy. Do a bit of background digging on the author before you trust their words online implicitly. Weasel, ah. Uh, inventor of the reverse egg whisk, a noted anti-royalist. Ah, oh, right, I won't be using insight when I go to collect my OBE then. Wish I'd thought of doing that. Okay, so now I know whom the author is, that's it, right? Oh dear me, no. You ought to consider a site's relevance to your studies next. Now, I take it here, you're not just talking about Google ranking. Oh no, no, no. You need to read around the information. Find out who a site is aimed at. Geo public or scholarly Sam. Hey, all you hepcats and groove weasels, this is Badger FM's physics bar. Did you know that a pound of flour and a ton of lead both fall at the same speed? Well, knock me down with a feather. It might read okay in your head, but a bit of hunting around should give clues for a site's main audience. Oh, you mean like on the About the Site page? Exactly. A website for pub trivia enthusiasts is unlikely to be the best place to read up for your particle physics doctorate. OK, well, I think uh, Wikipedia is not a bad start. I mean, it's got some smashing references off the site to back up what's been written about. Well, you might want to double check some of those facts. And remember, you need to apply exactly the same considerations we've been talking about to any of those sites referenced. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I mean, I, I mean, I never assume they're okay. After all, any old sock puppet could have written them. And, uh, that's why all weasels are vermin, fit only for use as fur stalls. Sue, so, are we clear? When using websites, it's essential to remember that reliability and relevance are king. Or, in some cases... Simply Queen. <laughs>